So this is the last video I'm going to make about this, but just so everyone knows, this was 10 months ago. Everything was fine until I left this comment. Hey, I like your content when you explain your thoughts, art, comedy, etc. Really good stuff. Well, now I don't believe that anymore. But at the time, I thought that. I don't like how you demean and harass others with a different opinion or who share innocently suggesting things you say you already know. I see in comments and videos that you sometimes project yourself out to be the end all of truth when talking to people who don't know as much as you. I've been on the other side of this before and it's really destructive and traumatic to the one receiving it. I say this not trying to attack or offend you. Just my thoughts and I'm looking forward to more of your thoughts and opinions about this place and your personal experiences. Thanks for sharing. Apparently that was a no-no. And he goes on to say all of these comments. I then say, I'm none of what you said, and I'm having a public discourse on public YouTube page. I like your thoughts on a lot of th issues, but this thing you're doing right here to me now, I'll pass on that. I'll continue to watch the videos that help truth sparks in my brain. I'm not talking about Jay or big YouTubers. I'm talking about people who are generally searching for answers. And then he goes on, you may have issues, seek help. And then he makes a video specifically to me from that comment I left. You know, I'm nice about it. I'm like, hey man, looking forward to see all of us out of the sewer realm, regardless of disagreements. And then, you know, people start agreeing with me. Oh boy, can't have any of that. It goes on and on and on. So let's go to the video. Small confession to make. 10 months ago, okay? This was 10 months ago. This started a long time ago. Okay, at least we, at least we didn't behave the way I see people. They're supposed to be grown men behaving these days. I don't want to demean you and say, hey, you're a soy boy or you're this or that. I mean, I could. I could. Um, I'm not going to call you a beta. I'm not going to call you a sheep. There's, there's a number of things that other people in other channels would probably call you. So if you have insecurity issues about in the past somebody did whatever to you or said this or that, dude, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry that happened to you, but that's not the biggest hardship in the world. Some of us, like me, have been through hell here that it would have broken you, man, like so easily. Go to the fucking shill channels, the felon channels. Is that where you came from? You know, are you another toothpaste eater? I don't want to, I don't want to make you cry or, or run for a safe space, but are you, man? Be honest. You can, you can be honest here. This is a safe space. You can tell us. Is it Crest or Colgate? Which do you prefer? Which tastes better to you? Just take it as a joke. I don't mean to be mean or, you know, I don't want to make you cry or anything. In, in my day, grown men really didn't just cry over this stuff. I'm not putting you down. I'm just saying that's the truth. It's a fact. Uh, the they, they, uh, mainstream scientists do say that testosterone levels in men has dropped so much in the in the last like 10, 20 years. And I believe it. Like there's something going on. It said nothing personally to you at all in any of my videos or comments. And it's like, it's just weird, man. Like, please don't break down and cry. Okay. What, I mean, I can't make, <laughs> what can I say? I can't make men into men anymore. It's just people are triggered and offended and upset and just on the verge of tears over what? Like my videos, you know, I could say toughen up, like suck it up cupcake, but I'm trying to understand where you're coming from. But it's hard for me because you said that I harass people that have a different opinion. Am I harassing you right now by recording my thoughts, my voice on my own channel, which you can leave at any time? You don't have to be here. Go to the shill channels if you feel more comfortable there. All right. So I just want to say you're free. You're welcome to comment on my videos, but um, that kind of stuff, you know, it's not just a bad look for you. It's just weird. It's like, I don't even know how to respond to that. My first instinct is, are you crying when you're... I don't know. It's just weird. It's weird behavior, man. So anyway, that's what I wanted to say. This is uh, to you, Joshua. All right? I won't, I won't give any more information than that, but you might have issues. As I've said in other videos about people having issues and maybe needing some therapy or mental health help, you might need that. And that's not a, an attack on you or it's not a shot at you. You might need that. You might have some issues to work out. Um, insecurity is one of them. And trying to control, control other people's free speech is another one. Sometimes those go hand in hand. If somebody's really insecure, they really work hard to try to control what other people say. And not even say about you. I haven't been talking about you until now. You might have some paranoia issues too. I don't know. But I think you have some issues to get sorted out. You might need somebody to talk to that's professional. It's not me. I can't do that for you. All right? So look into that. And it's not me slamming you, but when it comes to free speech, I have every right to say whatever the fuck I want. You understand that? And uh, 
you're not going to change that. And neither is anyone else. And neither would the government with rifles in their hands. All right? It's not going to happen. I value that too much to be controlled by someone that just doesn't like what I'm saying. So when it comes to you trying to control me, go fuck yourself on that one. Understand that? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, dude. A lot of you lefties, and I think you are a leftist. <clears throat> you seem to be. You seem to lean left. It's not going to happen. Ever. You'll never control my free speech. Not at all. So if you don't like it, I'm going to be very blunt here. Go somewhere else. Don't bitch and don't cry on my channel. I don't want cry, ba cry babies here. And I don't want toothpaste eaters here. As I said in a past video that somebody couldn't handle, I want thinkers. Thinkers. I want excellence. I don't want mediocre. I don't want stupidity. I don't want fools. I don't want dummies. I don't want morons. I want excellence from you. Think about it. Something to think about. Give it a good think, all right? To use this expression, but man up a little bit. Fuck, man. Know what I'm saying? You don't want to appear to be neutered in front of other men. It's just not a, it's not a good thing. You don't want to come across like a eunuch. Seriously, think about it. Of course, I'm still respectful. And I say, like I said earlier, looking forward to see all of us out of this place, regardless of disagreements. And he goes on, blah, 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 blah. And then I just say, your video and your responses to me are more than enough proof of what I'm talking about. Now go look at how you treated other people the same way. It's not, it's all over your videos and comments. It's not that hard to understand, man. I was just stating what I think is toxic and doesn't need to follow us into the other realm. If you think different in how you are talking to people, it's perfectly fine. Do you. And then I said, I hear you, but I think you totally missed what I had, what I said. And everyone has issues, but you, but Hey, your channel, dude, who's trying to control you. You are making so many assumptions about someone you don't know. You are the crybaby, dude. Everyone who says something you don't like, you go into a narcissistic rage. You are the one projecting and can't handle self-reflection or differing opinions. Look into, cluster, look into B cluster spectrum. I'll continue watching because I'm not the one crying. Thanks for sharing. And of course, I got blocked. <laughs> this is 10 months ago. So I'll let him um, expose himself. I mean, it's like I don't mean anyone any harm or anything like that. But when, when, it, uh, when it comes down to other people and you're trying to share this information, like the root of why you're doing what you're doing and stuff like that, you don't mean anyone harm. If anything, you're trying to steer people away from that. You're trying to steer people into their power and stuff like that, all that stuff, the sovereignty and all that, right? But yeah, people all of a sudden when you start saying these things and stuff, yeah, now they want to beat you and berate you, insult you, all that stuff. And yeah, no, I get it. I totally get where yeah, you're coming from. I understand your frustration. Help. I do. Because yeah. it would annoy me. Because I'd be like, what the fuck? I'm not even doing anything wrong to you people. What's yeah. wrong with you? So if you're trying to help them, why should you have to tolerate abuse when you're already risking yourself? You don't. Yeah. You, know, you don't have to be a walking mat. No way. What I tell people I don't have to tolerate abuse here. Look at this. He's got a sex doll. Okay. He's using his little sex doll that he screws for his video. Where he's, you know, the last video he made, he was crying about how he just wants a good woman and the love of a good woman. Well, you might want to not put your sex toys or your sex doll in a video. I mean, <laughs> look at look at this. Like this is the love of his life. I guess he, I guess he rams this with his little micro or something. His little red pecker, a little gingy. His Genji, his Genji penis. Okay, <laughs> what can I say? I mean, this guy's perverted. No wonder, no wonder women steer clear of this guy. Look at this. Does this mouth open up, or what are you doing with this thing? You know, I'm shaking my head. I think Joshua is a virgin. I think Joshua S. John is a virgin. I really do. This is not going to get you, ladies. All right, women do not. The women are not going to flock to you after they watch this video. They're going to think this freaking creepy psycho. Coming clean. You're coming clean. Clean your sex doll. Okay. Probably reeks in that room of his. Can't tell if it's in his parents' basement or if it's an apartment, but it kind of looks like it's in the basement of somebody's house. He probably lives with his parents, okay? And he kept saying he, how lonely he was. <laughs> it was just pathetic, the whole video. The whole video was pathetic. Think this video is going to attract women? You've, you've lost it, dude. Lost it. With his gingy bush on his face, okay? He's got the gingy bush, you'll see. What a peckerhead. He creepy or what? Do you think he's creepy? Do you think he's a creepy virgin incel? Be honest. What do you think? Look at the red bush. Look at the red bush. I knew he was a ginger. There's so many of them that are gingers that have YouTube channels. that are so-called quote truthers. Tons of them. Tons of them. Cult of the gingies. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes. Look at the wonky eyes there. 
red bushy beard, the yellowing teeth. Bet that mouth just reeks. It probably just reeks. I wouldn't be surprised. Isn't he? Is he seducing you? Isn't he so sexy? I mean, look at this guy. <laughs> no wonder he's a virgin. No wonder he's a virgin. Look at that. Look at that. What's this behind him? What's this garbage? That garbage. Oh, his videos obviously parody a joke. Really? They're viciously attacking me. Viciously. He thinks he's under attack. <laughs> You're not being viciously attacked. Not at all. Look at that face. That's a face that that's a face that no woman could love as far as I'm concerned. Not even his mother could love that face. Does he have toys? I bet he has a collection of comics or something too. Something, maybe Star Wars figures or something. Something indicates he's a man child that you know, by the one in a billion chance any woman was around him and went to his place, they'd see all these fucking toys and be like, yeah, this is just a little boy that never grew up. Look at him. It's like, wimpy, wimpy, wimpy. Talk about a weirdo. Talk about a weirdo. Think about it. Do you trust him? Women that are single watching this, would you date him? If he lived local to you, let's say? Would you watch this and say, oh, he's sexy or he's so clever or so funny or, you know, whatever? Think about it. Another fucking Gingy. Of course. I knew it. They're all over the place. All over the place. It's the invasion of the Gingies. And this is Hillbilly Gingy right here. Hillbilly Gingy. This is Hillbilly Gingy right here. That's who he is. Y'all, that's Hillbilly Gingy. Look at the stupid comments on this by these dummies. Fools. Absolute fools. There's your sex doll. Hillbilly Gingy. That's all you have. That's all you have. That's all you have. You know what I mean? And I think that's just so foolish and stuff. If anything, they should be paying close attention and actually attempting to learn from you. And then if, if at any point somehow you slip up, you maybe get a bit of information wrong, then you could call them out and be like, oh, you got that wrong and stuff like that. And then at that point, hopefully it would be valid because especially if you're seeing it from the perspective of, okay, this person knows exactly what they're talking about for the most part and so on. And you follow along, you try to listen to what they, you know, they're saying and they're trying to share to people. Um, and then if there's ever a point in stuff where maybe they come up short on a certain point or certain matter topic, whatever, you know, I think it's va um, valid to say something then, you know what I mean? But th these people are just stirring shit for no reason, which is why I, I totally understand your perspective on why you decide to call them demons, because it, it is kind of demonic. And, and, and as you've also usually, um, at least in your recent videos, been referring to demons is that you almost refer to them as like party crashers. That's what you have to wonder. And when you said that it's them stirring up shit, it's not just stirring shit though, because uh, when they're telling people that my channel's demonic, that I'm a demon, that I'm this, that I'm a Freemason, that I'm a liar, that I'm a fraud, I'm a parasite, mocking me, all this type of stuff, stay away from that channel, he's bad, he's evil, he's a narcissist, he just wants to, he's starting a cult, he's a cult leader, he's the newest one, saying he's, I'm a cult leader, all this type of stuff. So I don't cave into bullies. I don't know if they're aware of that. I think some on Team Evil and some demons are aware of it by now. But yeah, for sure. There's some on my channel that don't see it that aren't demons though. Hypocrites and cowards. Cowards. This guy's a coward on the screen, everyone, this guy. You belong here, Joshua. You belong right here in this realm. You're evil. You're on Team Evil. So fuck you. You belong here, Joshua. Right here in this place that you call a million different things. You call, you're fucked up. You're really fucked up. And I don't have much sympathy for you because you've shown none to others. You talk about compassion and empathy. You don't have any. You follow evil. You're a follower of evil. You defend evil. You made that conscious choice to follow evil. So fuck you. You can stay here. That creature's like this guy on the screen, on a TV screen. Again, I'm going to point that out. Television. Tell live vision. Tell live vision, the programming box. He feels terrible, but why is he smiling? As he zoomed in on his mouth, as he's saying this. He's a deceiver. He's a deceiver. Not alone for the ones that say, well, you found one. Oh, man, YouTube is fucking riddled with them. They're all over YouTube. I'm not saying that every single person on YouTube or every content creator is one, but you're going to have to work on your discernment. If you can't see through this, I don't know what you're looking at. I'm pausing it right here. Look at his face. Look at this creature. Look at this creepy, creepy creature, this gingy. That's what I think he is. He's a gingy. You're a slave. That's a slave on the screen, everyone. That's a slave. I bet this guy's been in the new age. Just by the way he dresses, his behavior, I bet he was part of the new age of fake positivity. positivity. And don't be negative, be positive. I bet he preached that to tons of people. They think nothing of the harm that they've done here when they preach that shit. There's, there's tons of them in the truth community that are just rotten, okay? Rotten. So where's the real raw emotion? He's not genuine. He's not sincere. He's just a liar. He's just a fraud. He's just another fucking piece of shit. You know? It's a very, very strange, gingy creature. Or are you trying to program the shit out of people watching this? So that when they get out of here, they're just like Dorothy saying, I want to go home. You might put yourself from this prison right into another one. You don't want to do that, do you? By following this guy, this shithead? Think about it. Look at that. Ah, oh, he looks so sad about everything, right? That he just wants to exit. Do you buy it? 
Stephen, why do you ban people from your channel? Well, I knew this was trash many, many, many months ago. Many months ago. He's trying to mind fuck you. And what am I doing? Trying to get you to see through it. That's why you couldn't get a, a starring role in a TV show or in Hollywood, Joshua. Because your acting sucks. It's an actor. An actor. Do you, know, do you not notice when you see somebody saying all this stuff on a Tao Live Vision? programming the shit out of your mind i mean when it comes down to people and stuff like that and stuff initially and stuff yeah I'll, I'll be respectful and stuff try to not assume that you're just some sort of fucked up nasty person but if i get you know proof or information that proves the contrary then yeah now it's different it is i can't just overlook that and act like i don't know that someone's like an abuser or something like this you know what i mean like so yeah. so that's that's as far as it goes so initially i'm respectful and yeah i'll, I'll think the best of you because i don't know you you know but mm -hmm. until like i hear something where it's like you're, you show the opposite then I'll think of you in that light, you know, but until so, then it's like, I, yeah. I'll be fair, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's what they do. They, they try to use anything. I don't have to tolerate any abuse and I wouldn't physically in person. I would defend myself if you attack this, not you, but anyone attacked me, mm -hmm. like an abusive asshole is what I meant. It's like yeah. you see in the chats quite often, not just this live stream, but live premieres and comments section. It's like, there's a lot of people that are just rude. He just said people being rude and attacking in his live chats. Well, this whole video is about me and in his live chat, it reads, who is talking? I missed the beginning. He says, Joshua Johnson sucker. Yep, he's a rooster sucker for sure. Bro, you just can't trust a soft gingy. Never, ever, ever trust a soft gingy. Soft boiled gingy. Women have said that too. Never touch his soft gingy. Heard women talk of trying to suck on his softy. But I doubt Joshua likes women, except for his creepy sex doll. That sex doll was hilarious. Some people have no shame. He eats corn on the cob the long way. Joshua hides cobs of corn up his ass. So my friend shows up in the chat and he says, Hey moron, go blow Joshua. Gingers are losers. Get your IQ tested. See if you can break 70. Go suck on Joshy's ginger red weenie. You're all out of brains and bubble gum. Loser. Gingers are losers. Oh yes, we're bullies for calling out liars, shields, losers, rats. Here's another one. Where uh, he's talking to my friend. Do you suck off the hibbly gingy? Go suck on Josh's gingy micro. Douche. Joshua is walking towards the gazebo wishing Derek was there to bang him. They want everyone to be gingy clones, an army of ugly, weird, creepy, gingy clones with sex dolls like Joshua S. John. It's not different. It's not like sheltered from bad people or two-faced, ungrateful people or evil or narcissists or liars. Yeah, YouTube's a mirror to this whole yeah, realm because everyone can be on this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's better than a mirror. mirror. Yeah, it's, it's better than a mirror because actually you can go and watch people and their behavior. You can mm -hmm. watch them behave piously and morally and like it matters that you know, how people behave in a chat and then go into other chats and and be the antagonist because they're not in the role to to be doing that in the other chat. You know what I mean? Like it's a really strange mm. one, whether they're doing it in, under the same avatar, which I prefer um, at least, because then I can see it versus the multiple sock accounts. Like some content creators have, you know, 20 accounts watching their own content, right? Let alone, could you have like 30, 40, 50, 60 devices where you're actually engaged on YouTube with five or 10 of them as your main personalities. And when you start looking for these kinds of patterns, in the behaviors of some some people who are beyond duplicitous, right? Then you can see, you know, how people behave, right? And when you've been drawn, when you've allowed yourself to make the choice to participate in a community of people that think that drama is what YouTube's about, you know, and and you were drawn into that community under the guise of, you know, being participating in intellectual conversations, you know, it doesn't matter how much, you know, it, it's just been a really interesting exercise for me because I never knew how much people would talk about other people. You know, like people spend so much time talking about other people and fucking with other people's heads. It's unbelievable to me. I'm just finding it all, you know, it's, it's beyond a mirror. It's, it's an insight into people because there's no reason why people on YouTube are behaving any differently than people in the real world. So how many faces do people wear? You know, like uh, it's authenticity shines brightest for anyone. It doesn't matter how smart or stupid you are, you know, and how can people be authentic? Like how people wear so many masks, it's unbelievable, you know, like, and they're so, especially in YouTube, you can see the game that some people have turned it into or the personality that they choose to be. It's, it is like a, a short term study of human behavior. And it's been um, beyond disappointing, you know, like, uh, and I, I wouldn't even say disappointing. It's actually been really maturing for me. All of this is the matrix, dumbass. Tell me. He also was banned from my channel months and months and months ago. 
early on, fairly early on with my channel, a long time ago, because he was defending losers and he was attacking me. Well, I don't know if I'll say attacking, but he was, uh, he was lying, basically. He was saying that I was attacking people, saying that I stalk people and harass people. And I, he, I said, what do you mean? And he just kept saying, look at your videos. It's like, my videos are words. That's not harassment or stalking or crime or physically attacking. It's words, okay? He was talking about crimes. I said, I haven't committed any crimes. Um, I think it was when Charles, might have been when Charles was playing that file around or Yassan Roach, Cockroach, uh, was saying things about me, something like that. But everything he was saying on my channel was not true. And it's like, yeah, he's, he's messed up, man. You know, stalking is a crime. I don't stalk people. Harassment's a crime. I'm not harassing people. Putting up videos with my thoughts in words. See, he's a lefty. He thinks that that's a crime. He views words as, as violence. He thinks that my videos, he's messed up like he's a lefty. And here he is being a wannabe with the look, the beard, and out in the, the forest, everything about this. Just makes me think he's trying to copy. It's sickening. That's what's really sickening. Because they're just mindless repeaters. Parrots. They're not thinkers. And they call themselves, quote, truthers. And it's just puke-worthy. It's beyond cringe-worthy. It's puke-worthy. That's what it is. I'm sick of it. Why is he smiling as he's saying this? His, his expression doesn't match up with his words. It's like when somebody puts on a fake smile and their eyes aren't smiling. So here he's saying he's sick of it, but he's got a smile on his face. Doesn't match up. Contradiction with what he's expressing in words. His body language doesn't match up. Okay? Sick of playing the game. This isn't a game you're in. You know? It's, he's messed up, man. I think he wants attention. And that's what I think he... You should see his little avatar that shows a lot about him. Wants attention. And he is a follower, a disciple. Too busy trying to follow and repeat after others. And not think and not see truly. Because that's too difficult for you. Little Joshua. I bet he still watches my channel because I picked up on quite a few things right in there that seems lifted or copied, uh, plagiarized, whatever way you want to put it. Some people don't understand certain words. Some people are from different countries. Um, that comes across like a fake, like a copycat. It's the way he comes across. And his southern accent, I don't know whether he's from Tennessee or somewhere down there, will probably fool some people. Unfortunately, they'll think, well, he sounds like me. He sounds genuine. He's just spewing out talking points. It seems scripted. I wouldn't be surprised if he's looking down if he has a sheet of paper and has talking points written down on the ground beside him or something in a, in a notebook or pad of paper, something. I wouldn't be shocked at all. They're doing that now. Quite a few. Because they think, well, this is YouTube and this guy's got a small YouTube channel. He must be real. No. I'm sorry. You're not correct on that. Sorry. You don't understand how it works to have 100, 200,000, 2 million followers on YouTube to be a deceiver. Okay? I don't know how this guy's channel has over 1,400 subscribers because he just comes across as false and fake to me. And he did on my channel, and he still does now that I see him on video. Okay? If that's him. Because you never know what this guy's channel. He seems to put up content that isn't his. So, he's saying that he recorded... Okay, here he's saying he recorded this two months ago. He's calling this raw emotions. Really? It doesn't seem like raw emotions. Seems pretty fake and rehearsed. Seems staged. TV is fake and staged. He chose to put himself on a TV screen. Think about the symbolism there. Think about it. Maybe he wanted to be on TV his whole life. Now he's putting himself on an old TV screen. Think about it. Think about it. That's extremely weird. People like this are so fucking annoying. And they're so destructive. Because they mix in so much shit. And then they reach thousands and it confuses people. And I think that's their role here. On YouTube and in this realm. I think that's their role. I don't trust this guy on the screen for a fucking second. Is what I'm saying. Not for a second. That's why it matters. For the people to say, why are you covering this guy's small channel? Because they're growing, for one thing. All these, not just his, but small channels like this. People are falling for this shit, again. And it's a trap. And I'm giving you one last warning with this guy and some others. It's a trap. It's a trap. That's why it's set up on YouTube. He's pushing a lot of shit that if you gobble it up, it will harm you when you try to leave here. That's the point. That's why I make these videos, to expose them. I don't want you to get tricked, and I don't want you to get harmed. I don't get anything genuine from what's on the screen. It seems fake. This whole thing seems fake. You throw all that into one bowl, mix it all up, mix everything together that doesn't fit. That's what they do. And unfortunately, some people don't notice. They have to have it pointed out. And even then they'll say he sounds like a nice guy. They just go by the surface shit. So which, what, what is it? I mean, it's just, he's all over the fucking place. There's no consistency. And, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot in this realm that when someone is completely inconsistent, you still can't tell that they're fake. And they're completely inconsistent in the same 15, 16 minute video. It's incredible to me, man. It's incredible. It's incredible. But I mean, they're not consistent. And it's so goddamn fucking obvious to me. In the first four minutes of this video, it's been obvious. But as it goes on, he's just, he's, he contradicts himself so much. If, if you followed his directions on a roadmap, you'd be all over the fucking place. 
You'd be dizzy from driving not just in circles, but zigzags and, and crisscross and all over the fucking place. You understand? I can put it even more simply for you. If you follow this guy and shit like this, I don't think you're getting out of here. I think you'll be so goddamn confused and mixed up by the time that you're ready to leave your body and kick the bucket that you'll be so mixed up that you'll be like a broken compass going every which direction. Well, I'm trying to help you see through this here and now so that you avoid that happening, okay? If you're following this shit, which some are. Some are. Some from my channel are here watching this stuff. I know they are, okay? This is just a word salad. This is just a fucking word salad with everything in the kitchen thrown into a salad that doesn't even fit. We do to deserve this. He's trying to plant that into your mind that you did something. To d we, quote, we, what did we do? To deserve this. He's trying to plant in your mind that you're being punished here, that you did something and this is a prison sentence. But he hates to complain, he said, but he doesn't see this as complaining. But he also titles his video, More Whining and Crying. But which is it? Is he whining and crying or complaining, or is this not complaining and whining and crying? You know, think about it. Again, I'm pointing it out because he contradicts himself. In his own title, in his own video, in his own words. But how many times in the first six minutes, in the video and with the title itself, has he contradicted himself? Told by who? Who told you to write a list of things that you're thankful for? Are you seeing a counselor, therapy or something? So you're afraid, but I think somebody did tell you that. It's probably a counselor or a therapist. Or maybe a psychiatrist. That's what I think. So he said, I was told. But he wouldn't disclose that because he'd be afraid as a hypocrite of somebody trying to use that against him. But it doesn't look like it to me, the lips and the teeth and the mouth. Better get better at reading faces, reading body language seeing through liars and deceivers and narcissists and ones with duper's delight, you better work on that. And why do I say that? Why do I say you better? Because there's going to be some archons that'll be a thousand times better than this little creature, this little gingy on the TV screen, okay? That's why. I'm not trying to fear, like, fear monger or make you afraid. I'm just saying, if you, if you get fooled by this, personally, I have to be honest, then I don't have much hope for you getting out until you work on that. You've got to work on that because this is fucking obvious. And I see people on these channels all the time. And they're just, oh, I'm, it's so raw emotion. It sounds like a bad actor faking it. And they're smiling as they're pre pretending to be sad. Like bullshit. I don't buy it. Your face is smiling. You're not sad. Okay? And fake crying with no tears and everything else. The whole fucking list. It's sickening, man. That's what it is. There's a whole lot of phonies and fakes and bad actors in this realm. And YouTube is no exception. It's no exception. It's just like the mainstream media. So you'd better be careful who and what you follow. It's that simple. It does get frustrating because you should be able to see through this by now. And I can detect when somebody stole something and quite often know where they took it from. That's where he got that from. That's a deceiver's trick. He gave you two false choices. That's what manipulators do. That's what deceivers do. He looks so sad, doesn't he? Fooling you. Trying to fool you. On a TV screen. On a tell live vision screen. That everybody knows it's looked into truth. What TV is used for. To program. TV programs. TV programming. Okay? This is what he's doing. He's programming you. Using a fucking TV. Putting his phone face on it. And here you are. Sitting there watching him. Is what he's trying to convey with this. Plant in your mind. It's a subliminal. How this works. For the ones that think, oh, you, YouTube, not on YouTube, Stephen. These are truth channels. You're so naive. You're so goddamn naive. Wake up. And there's almost no one saying this anymore on YouTube, what I'm saying right now. Telling you to wake up and see through this shit. See through the deceivers in the, quote, truth community. See through it. Wake up. You're going to get so far and see that the government lies to you and, and mainstream media, TV, and you're going to fall for this shit. That's why they do this on YouTube. But we'll get them on YouTube. We'll just insert some controlled opposition and some fake, quote, truthers. We'll get them this way. That's how it works. Then they just leave YouTube alone, like, oh, that's off limits. There's no-go zone for, for de demons and evil and the, the rulers and controllers. We can't touch YouTube. YouTube is owned by Google. They fought, I mean, think about it. Think about it. Watching this guy on the screen, you might as well be watching the CIA. Okay? You got that? Look at the smile. Smirk, the duper's delight. He loves it. He's loving it. He's loving it. Is he so angry and so sad that he's smiling throughout this whole thing, Right? 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 What's wrong with the quote truth community that this shit keeps working? These channels, his channel, Lion Sword, Matt McKinley, Archaics, it goes on and on and on. Howdy Mikowski, Martin Leidke, on and on and on. There's just fucking thousands and thousands of them. Brett Bender, Chrissy Pissy Shateras. There's millions of these at his peak of evil. Okay, I mean, they don't give a shit. They want your money and they want status and fame and clout on YouTube. They want praise and attention. So fake. It's actually sickening. I just want to go home. And he's got this big smile plastered across his fucking face. So this is what some of them are trying to con you into. And I noticed that they'll come to my channel and say, why don't you tell us to do this? They'd love my channel shut down. They'd love to see me locked up behind bars. Look at the look on the face. 
He's not the only one for the ones that isolate things in their mind. Oh, it's just one bad apple, the truthers. It's around 350 banned from the sanity machine and counting. It's not stopping there. I take out the trash. I don't keep it around. He lied about this being raw. Wrong. That's programming you to feel guilt for something. Like, it's bullshit. That's what I'm saying. Bullshit. Bullshit. To try to get you to see through this. Not just this guy, but this tactic. So this doesn't work no matter what the face looks like. So it doesn't work. If a thousand others try the same thing on you, it won't work. Once you see through it. It's bigger than him. Bigger than him. For the ones that say he's a small channel, what are you focused on him? You're missing the point. It's bigger than him. It's what they're doing. That's what matters. Okay? Look at the eyes there. He'll look over this way. Distance. There's his eyes. Shifty eyes. Kind of like, you know, forever con man. He's programming you with tell lie vision. The deceiver, he contradicts himself. He has strange behavior. Strange body language, duper's delight, and looking all over the place. And uh, I wouldn't trust him for a second. I wouldn't trust a Clinton, and I wouldn't trust this thing here either. So think about it. Just think about it.